Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to walk you through a quick tutorial and guide as to what an Apple TV is and what it does. So I'm going to start off with the hardware of the Apple TV, and then after going over the hardware, I'm going to take you over to the user interface, what it looks like on your television. So to start off, the Apple TV itself is a small streaming TV box. It's similar to, if you know what a Roku is, Amazon Fire TV, Google Chromecast, and other streaming devices that you can hook in to your TV so that you can get access to video streaming apps through your television. And with the Apple TV, it's more than just video streaming apps. You'll also be able to get music streaming applications as well as different game apps and options with that. But primarily, this is going to be used to watch your video streaming options through apps such as Apple TV itself, as well as Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, a lot of the other popular streaming applications that are out there. Now, the Apple TV itself, unfortunately, does not come with an HDMI cord. A lot of us have extra ones of these hanging around in our house. So perhaps you don't have to buy a separate HDMI cord, but if you do need to purchase an HDMI cord to plug it in to your television, I'll post a link down in the description to popular HDMI cords that you can find on Amazon. It does, however, come with a power cord, so that's how you're going to power this device, by plugging it into an outlet and then also the Apple TV remote. It's nice that it doesn't have batteries that you have to replace. It's a rechargeable battery, so once it runs low, you can charge up your Apple TV remote. And it's a really nice feeling remote in the hand, made of metal, very solid. So now I'm going to take you over to my TV to show you what the user interface looks like within the Apple TV itself once you have it launched on your television. Once we have our Apple TV powered on and plugged in to our television, and for me, it's plugged in to the HDMI 1 port. On my television, I need to make sure the source of the input is on HDMI 1 so that I can see the Apple TV user interface and to walk you through what the user interface looks like. A lot of times, it's going to start within the Apple TV application itself, which has access to a lot of different video streaming content. Going back to that previous page that had all of our app tiles on it. And the first time that you look at your app tiles page, it's going to have a lot less tiles than what I currently have on my TV screen. You're just going to have to download and install the video streaming apps or other apps that you can get access to in the Apple App Store, which is what this little icon looks like. So opening that up, if you have not already logged in to your Apple ID to get access to these different apps to download and install them, you can do so the first time you launch the Apple App Store. And if you need additional help on how to set up an Apple ID, I'll post a video down in the description, a tutorial on how you can go about doing that. So in the App Store, you can see at the top, we have these different tabs. In the Discover tab, it's just essentially showing us popular video streaming apps and other things that are popular in Apple TV. Also showing different sections such as news, apps that are kid-friendly, different games that you can play, popular sports applications, and you can kind of go through this area again to look at some of the more popular applications that you can get on your Apple TV. Going back to the top, we can go to the Apps tab again just to browse through different apps as well as looking at games, looking at Apple Arcade. And maybe most importantly, at the end of the line, we have this magnifying glass. And essentially, if you know which video streaming app or other app that you're looking for, you can start typing it in this area and it should show up in the search. You can click on the app to download and install it. So an app that I don't currently have, I think is Prime Video. So just to show you as an example, when you open that up, if you click select on the get option, then that is going to give you the option here to get that streaming application, clicking select on get. And now it's going to download and install that. So we can open it from this page, but it also is going to show up on our apps tiles page. So to show you what that looks like going back to our apps tiles page, and then this should show up in this area and we can see it's at the end of the line. You can move these app tiles around. Let's say I wanted to move Amazon Prime Video to the front of the line, holding down the big select button, and then the little icon starts to shake. We can move this where we'd like it to go. So again, I said I'm going to move it to the front of the line here and then click select again to lock it in place and then it'll drop right in that section. And to open up an application, you just click select on it. This is the first time I'm launching the Amazon Prime Video app, so it's prompting me to sign in, a common thing that you'll see when you're first logging in to an application after you download it. And again, heading back towards the home screen. Other than just video streaming apps, there's also music streaming that you can play music through your TV as well as the arcade application to play different games. So it is more than just video streaming. You're going to have some additional options. Essentially, the apps that are available to you in the App Store, those are what you can get access to. And to round out this video, one last area that I think you should get acquainted with, that is the Settings application. It's this icon that looks like a little gear, and it says Settings below it. If we click Select on that, there's a lot of different options that we have here in the Settings. In terms of your personal information, the users and account that are on your Apple TV, setting up the video and audio settings, as well as 
having some additional options here. We can set up remotes. We can look at the accessibility options, such as putting subtitles on the screen or changing the language that is associated with the Apple TV. Look at our app settings. And then also another important one is the network tab to get things set up on an internet connection. Let's say maybe there's a different internet connection that you'd wanna to change to. Then you'd go to the network settings to set up that new internet connection. So I hope this video was helpful walking you through kind of just a basic guideline and a general tutorial on what an Apple TV is used for, what it does. I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I'll catch you back here next time.